Hello. I was talking to a client the other day about information overload and really just how we cope with everything coming at us that we would like to read, like to watch, like to consume, like to understand, like to learn. Because really we're living at a time where we have access to so much stuff and the choices are really uh, are quite endless. This client was asking me how, how I manage um, my, my wanting to read different things and wanting to um, consume different things. And especially for my work, I like reading up on new techniques, new trends. I like reading, you know, the hot productivity book of the moment, things like that. So for me, what I do is keep a list of uh, things that I'd like to read eventually or, um, or save, say, an article that comes up. Um, someone sends me an article and I'm like, that looks interesting. I want to read that at some stage. I save that into my calendar at a, at a time that I know I'll be able to read. Sometimes that's um, on a commute or it's a Sunday afternoon when I just feel like maybe taking in some information and um, deep diving into a few articles that have come my way. What really surprised my client uh, when I shared this with them was the fact that I'm not doing it straight away. So I've, I've talked before about uh, just because a ball is thrown at you doesn't mean that you have to catch it. So just because someone throws you an interesting article or everyone is reading this great book or you know, you, you feel that you need to be on top of this, this and this doesn't mean that you have to do it immediately. It's okay for those things to be scheduled in at a later date and for them to be something that you look forward to doing. So that's one way that I uh, manage the overwhelm of information uh, by taking back control and applying it to my calendar and looking for when it suits me to actually uh, review the information. I hope that helps. I hope that's of value and um, hope, um, I hope that that helps with information overload because it's a real thing that we face in today's society and there's just so much stuff that we could be turning our attention to. Uh, and on that vein, thank you for watching this video because there's plenty others that you could have watched but you chose to uh, watch this one so I'm very grateful and I hope that you go ahead during the rest of your week and apply this tactic to other information that comes your way. Thank you very much.